Yo guys, what's up, Jonas here, and today I'm gonna teach you how you can add the fade in and fade out effect in Sony Vegas. But before I show you that, I want to like show you a very quick sample so that you can understand what I mean. Sometimes we forget why we're here, it's easy to fall off track. These help us remember. Okay guys, so let us say we'll start editing from here. This is the first part of the video that you will be watching. And now we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to edit it. Like put the fade in and fade out effect. So first of all we're gonna take a clip. So for example, let us say I use this clip and let me quickly mute this clip so that we don't get uh, disturbed by noises or game audio or anything. So let us say for example that we're gonna, I'm gonna like take this gameplay and I'm gonna cut for example like right here, I'm not gonna edit like the whole gameplay. So whenever you want to have a fade in or fade out effect, you have to split the clip. So for example, let us say that, uh, for example right here, when this XT blows, I wanna, I wanna fade in and fade out effect, like right here. So you have to split the videos and in order to do that you press S. And then you will click on the video. Now I'm gonna try to zoom in and make it as clear as possible. You have to put your mouse right here so you can see this sign. And it will say like fade out offset. So all you have to do is click and drag and like put the amount of um, offset, like how long you want it, like how long you want to take to offset to fade out, excuse me. And then to have uh, like it will give something like this. Like for example right here, so that fading out early, but the, and then you can also add in a fade in effect by doing the same thing but the other way. So let us make this fade out effect a bit shorter, and it will give something like this. So it blows up, fade out, and then fades in. Now, if you want to know how to add in a transition in between, so for example, let us say I want to transition from here to here, so you have to split again using S and you go to transitions and then this is where you have a lot of effect for example let us say we go with page loop and we're gonna put this one right here and after you put this one you just adjust some things if you want to adjust them it all depends on you and this is the transition that it gives for example from here to here and yeah, basically that was it for the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.